What's up, Thrawn Squad? So today we have this go kart right here, which is not currently running, and I believe it's just a dirty carburetor. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to take apart a carburetor and fix it if you were having an issue with something not running. It'll crank, duh, 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 but won't start. First step you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna remove your gas lines. In this case, it was just a big tube I had set on there, just for temporary. And then you're gonna wanna remove your carburetor, which in this case should be pretty simple because everything already should be all loose in here from the last time we looked at it. So you just wanna take your air filter off, slide that off to the side. All right. And now that we have everything removed off of the carb. And here we are, the carburetor is out. Now what you're gonna wanna do on these, they have a flathead screwdriver right here to drain it out. So I'm gonna drain this out first. And because I know it's really dirty, even though this carburetor is brand new, there was rust in the gas tank, which clogged everything all up right off the bat. So we never even got this thing fired up with this carburetor. Just because as soon as we put it on, it all filled up. So we'll take this out right here, and I'm just going to drain it off to the Is side. That, see? You guys can see down here on the brown, right there. This is a white shirt. This is what's coming out of the carburetor. So now we're going to clean this whole entire thing out. I'm going to reinstall this screw. It's not going all the way down. All right, so once you have the bolts taken off the bottom of the carburetor, this is the top, this is the bottom. So you're gonna wanna pull that off. And man, if you can already see in this carburetor, it's brand new, but there was rust in the gas tank. So it got a whole bunch of dirt and debris. You can even see it in here. You know, it's all over in there, over there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be pulling out the main jet first. Not that this has anything to do with it at idle, but we're starting. I'm just gonna take it, and I'm just gonna spray a little bit of carb cleaner through it. So it's, it's nice, because you see this hose fits right in there, and you can just spray it right through. So that one, let's we'll set that one to the side. That one's good. Now we're gonna take the pilot jet out. So we're gonna unscrew the pilot jet. And this one right here is what can Controls the fuel at idle to a quarter turn of throttle. In this case, probably a quarter pedal. And once we have this fully unscrewed, we can turn it over and it should, should come right out. This is being a little finicky, maybe it's not all the way out. All right, and then turn it over, there we are. And this one doesn't have any numbers on what size it is, but the different sizes basically means how big these holes are at the begin at the end of the pilot jet. And you should be able to see light all the way through them. This one is obviously clogged, so you can't see all the way through it. And that would be because of probably that rust in that gas tank that I decided we were gonna try to put through. So this one's a little bit harder to try to spray into but if you can hold it there, you can still spray in there, spray inside the holes, spray on the other side, and this should help clean it out. A lot of people use compressed air, but that's good right there. So now that that's all clean, the next step you're gonna wanna do is definitely spray out the hole inside up here and get all that junk out of there if you can. And once that's all out, then what you're gonna wanna do is, normally you're gonna wanna take these out, but I know this is a brand new carburetor. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking and throwing right here into where the fuel comes in. And I'm gonna let the float be down to where this is where it, when it floats up, it stops letting fuel in, that lets fuel out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put my finger over here and I'm gonna spray to where it's running out the bottom. You could, If you guys could see right there, it's running down. So that right there, that'll be good for this process because I am pretty sure that I'll clean it out nicely. So I'm gonna put these jets back in real fast. And 
once these main once these main two jets are in, I'm gonna show you one more thing to take off and clean out. Now I know this carburetor is good. Well, actually I don't know it. It's brand new. It's never been used besides putting it on one time <coughs> and trying to start with it. But now that we have both the jets snug down, you don't want to do it too tight. Just tight enough to where you're turning just a little bit and it doesn't turn anymore because you don't want to strip these out. Now the next one is the idle air control screw. And now this is usually on the same side as the fuel on go-kart motors and UTV motors, but on dirt bikes, this will be on the opposite side. It'll be on the exhaust side of the carburetor. So you just wanna unscrew this right here. And if you can get it all the way out, what you wanna do is Be very careful to not damage this. This is what controls the air fuel mixture. And as you can see, it just has a little needle. It looks very clean in there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray some fluid in there and let it drain through. Now there's also a spring in here. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see it on camera, but this spring is what helps give it pressure. So that way when it's running at idle or running at high RPMs and everything's vibrating, the screw doesn't just come completely loose. So now when you're putting the screw back in, you wanna put it all the way down, nice and snug, all the way down onto the bottom. And then you're gonna to wanna to back it out one full turn. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So as soon as this gets all the way down, it's a lot of threading. It's a lot of adjustments that you can do on this. But the maxes, you wanna be between pretty much a half a turn out into two turns typically. So this is all the way in. Don't tighten it down, it'll just stop. So that's a half a turn, that's a full turn. And you just wanna leave it right there when you are setting up a carburetor. And then you can adjust it accordingly to adjust the idle. But if you guys look in here, you can see how much was actually in there. And this is a large amount because uh, just a little bit of it can get into those little tiny needle jets and clog everything up or into those Into your pilot jet and it can clog it all the way up like With the old carburetor that was on here uh, We would have to spray starting fluid on it To get it to run and then we'd have to push on the throttle to where the main jet would open up And then the main jet would be controlling everything. So the pilot jet was completely clogged But now that we have everything rinsed out and everything cleaned out on the bottom end of this carburetor, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right back on, just like so. I'm gonna start reassembling it with the screws that I have. All right, so now that we've flushed the gas line, you can see that the gas that's coming out of it now is very clear. Uh, and so I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna shut the valve off right here. I'm gonna drain all the gas out of this. I also went today and picked up a new fuel filter and new fuel line, which is what I'm running right now is the new fuel line. So let's drain all this gas out of here. And now I'm just gonna be reinstalling the car back onto the go -kart. All right, guys. So this is gonna be the first official start or try to start after cleaning the car and putting it on. Right here is the starting solenoid. I'm just gonna jump it with the key on and we'll see what happens. All right, here's the second attempt to start. Give it a little bit of gas on the pedal. Should we turn this on? Yeah, oh yeah, turn it on. Oh, it wasn't even on. All right. Oh, you said to turn it on? There we go, guys. Now we just need to let the fuel go through the line. But it sounds like it's running pretty good. So let, we're gonna move the trailer up, take it off, and then see if we can drive it around and see how it goes. So we're about to hop in the go-kart, go for the first ride. This is Austin. Are you are you excited that it runs? Oh, dude! It, yeah, that oh, weight definitely. weight relieved off you that you didn't waste money, right? Definitely. All right, guys, you can do this yourself. Now let's take this thing for a rip and see how it does. All right, I'm gonna buckle up for safety. You ready, Austin? Oh yeah. All right, let's fire her up. 
There we go. Oh, I'm in gear. There we go, hop in. Put the e-brake down, put her in drive. All right, guys, I'm excited for this. Ooh. All right, let's explore the neighborhood now. You ready? Yeah. We're gonna try this big downhill, guys. I also don't advise you guys to drive on the roads, but if you want to, do it, whatever you want to do, I don't care. I'm not your dad. Let's see, what can we get up to? Wow. This ain't mob. If you guys are watching this video and you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hurry up and subscribe. So if you guys like this video, smack that like button. If you guys found it helpful, or if you just enjoyed the content, just smack that like button. It helps our channel grow. It helps us make more videos and keeps us motivated. I'm also going to be having another video where I'm gonna show you how to jet your bike properly because I have noticed when I have looked on all over YouTube, I haven't found a good video that shows how, to, how you define the right size jetting for your elevation and for what you're riding and to get the maximum amount of power. I am working on the cheap versus expensive carburetor video. I am waiting for jets to come in for the for our other projects. So stick with me guys. It's not that I don't want to, it's just the fact that I'm waiting on things to get here in the mail. And I also want to do the test as best as possible because I want to have both the carburetors tuned to their full potential. So that way you guys can see which one's worth your money. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down in the description and just tell us what you guys want to see on the channel more. Um, for our go-kart, if anyone wanted an update on that, it does currently run. I have done a lot of stuff to it. The piston rings on it were bad, so it was smoking a lot. So I actually just ordered a whole entire new motor for that build. So that'll be coming soon, and we already have some cool ideas, but just leave us a comment below of what you guys want to see next, and we'll get it done for you guys. Until next time, peace.